New shooter coverage of IBC 2024 is sponsored by Sennheiser, Adamos, and b &H. Hi, it's Matt here for newshooter.com at IBC 2024. I'm with Kathy from Kinefinity. Now, your new uh, electronic Eagle EVF that's been out for a while now, it's an STI version, and now you're looking into making a HDMI version, which you've got a prototype of here today. Just tell me about it. Mm -hmm. Um, so we've released the SDI version uh, at the um, July of this year and it, I think it has like some good um, reply from the market and we think that um, having the HDMI version would be um, more people would like to use it because you know there's uh, more and more people using a mirrorless camera who want to have more uh, professional rig so we are thinking about making HDMI version and um, yeah I think the functions are simply with the SDI the feature is it's very compact and it's very small and you can use like the peaking and the, um, a lot of the um, functions that you can help you to monitor the, um, the, the, the image of the camera and it's so universal. Uh, the SDI version can match with the like the Red Komodo and FX6 and also the, for the HDMI there's more range of the camera you can choose. And how is this powered? Uh, um, it's different from the SDI version. This time we um, attached the US, USB-C port, which means that you can use a C2C or maybe a C2D tape to uh, power the viewfinder. It's very easy it's just by a very simple cord because, you know, USB-C is more and more popular these days. And I think it's more um, good options for a mirrorless camera, the clients. And the prototype currently has just a single HDMI in, but you're thinking about adding also a loop through so people can use that with uh, monitors or wireless transmitters. Yes, I think that's a, uh, because that's the problem when we are uh, marketing the SDI. There's, uh, for example, the FX3, uh, sorry, FX6 only have one SDI output. So when we are attaching the viewfinder, if they want to use the transmitter, it's hard for us to um, uh, make it together. So if we can have uh, uh, two HDMI and we can loop out, that will be a good, um, uh, good choice. Yep. And there's a variety of different ways you can you can mount this. So you've got one actually sitting here on a Sony FX3. So this is using basically the bracket, the same bracket that's available with the STI version. Yeah. Um, right now we are using the same mount with the the mini mount from Mofcam, the same with the SDI. But as you know, it's more easy to um, rig the uh, viewfinder here in the middle of the camera, which is more compact and uh, you can uh, operate it more easy. So we are thinking of making some difference with the mounting system. And in terms of um, availability, w when do you think that's possible that this may come to market? Um, as we still need some improvement on the hardware and uh, uh, firmware, I think maybe at the end of this year.